Hi there and welcome back, my friend, to the Black Death of Northern Europe. When the year 1000 comes close and probably all of the Christians think that the apocalypse is coming now, that the Antichrist has uh, kind of ravaged through everything. And look at that. No, uh, at least middle, the middle of Europe is now starting to become free from the Black Death and maybe, maybe we'll also be freed from this terrible plague and then we can finally attack. Oh no, Yosir Soraka has brought some troubling news. Words are spreading that worshippers of Fenrir are the root of the terrible epidemic ravaging your realm. Queen Soraka encourages you to look into these rumors. Followers of Fenrir? Hmm. Could that be? Um. I mean, we don't know. Um, we really believe in Fenrir and stuff because we're Norse, so... Horrifying news indeed. Investigate this for me. Saraka. Trust our wife. And we didn't have time for our concubines and our heirs. Well, actually, it's been enough with the concubines, right? She's pregnant, so she, we won't do away with her. She has borne us a daughter, so we won't set her aside. She's born us a son, and that's okay too. Here we go. Conversion of Krivitschia. Kri Goodness. These Christs. Christ Christians. What's going on there? The Essex Peasant Revolt? Ah. Queen Saraka has brought you an alarming amount of people who claim to have witnessed the abomination of witchcraft. You are to believe their accounts, the allies of Jermungad are many and pose a great threat to your realm. Um, could warn the court? Do we trust the court? And we generally trust the court. But really, we must find these sinners before it is too late, Saraka. I mean, it could be the cause of the plague or something, so... It's pretty terrible. Will the Black Death ever leave us again? Will these just stay? Because no one has hospitals. See about that in the future, eh? And we have another daughter, Gurli. What will be her fate? Let's see. Roll the dice. Four. He'll struggle. Eastern Europe. Yes, yes, yes. Death comes to us all. And in Eastern Europe, the terror is becoming mundane. The plague has been ravaging the lands... Ravishing the lands unbiased regarding the social status of men, indifferently claiming even babies from the arms of their parents. Travels to the area are currently discouraged. What is this a travel warning? Yeah, I mean, they're not getting any money anymore. Astrid has brought you some distressing news. He's certain that Sigrid is a witch. Aha. She claims to have seen Sigrid talking to herself in a strange tongue and also informs you of several incidents where she has assaulted other members of the court. She has great pox and is a lunatic. We don't like her. Uh, you must be right. I will have her imprisoned. And now, 
What do we have here? Semun, the chief of Essex. Yeah, become our commander. What can we do in Kuloi? What more can we do here? Look, we can improve the hospital. Uh, let's see. What would we want most? Probably exclude some people so that we don't have to send them away out in the open. We'll build a leper colony. That's the last thing we'll do. Because we don't have any money anymore. This is going crazy with the plague. A thorough investigation, Queen Soraka has come to the conclusion that Kyatan is most likely the warlock in your court. Who's that? He's a Norse man. You're indifferent to him, he's dull, proud, ambitious, lustful, trusting. An aspiring falconer? I don't know. But we trust our wife. You must be right, Soraka. I will have him imprisoned. Oh, that's so terrible. Look, we have no income. And Soraka is pregnant now. We, uh, we celebrate this successful witch hunt. In our own way. Scully approaches you. He believes that Astrid is a witch. As everyone knows Astrid to be a most sinful woman and as such she must be consorting with Fenrir. Hmm. Scully, he's a very... he's just, so he's a very trustworthy man. Do we like him? Not really, we don't like him. How about Astrid? We like Astrid better. And she's also, I mean, she's patient, I mean, she's fat, zealous, envious, slothful. I don't know, I, I think we'll oof, roll this out. We'll roll this out, let's... Uh, a d6 and 1 to 3 is, you must be right. 5. Nah, she's Odin's faithful servant. We also like her better. She looks really... I mean, she looks... as if she would die any moment, to be honest. Aha. Our cousin has inherited... Oh, gastric land. Faster, he has no longer... is no longer steward. Goodness. This is going to be interesting. But we have Thorgil, the chief of Gastric Land. The one handed chief of Gastric Land. Yeah, welcome. Be our steward. I think you're, you'll become a great steward. Pregnancy has caused my wife to develop quite the unusual tastes. Most of what she asks for dinner now always ranges from mildly unsettling to positively revolting. Still, scholars do agree that a pregnant woman's cravings should always be accommodated. I will make sure that she get all she wants and more. Hmm. A hare's head? A fish's eye? No, no, no. I think we... I mean, we love her. She shall get all she wants. Even if she becomes fat doing that. Oof. Our finances are getting ravaged by the plague. At first, the signs were small, easy to dismiss as coincidences. But now they are becoming too frequent to be ignored. My wife will give birth... The auspicious stars, hopefully. Ah, okay, we, we won the peasantry vault, strangely. Ah, uh, let's look, look into our prison, by the way. Okay, nothing much here. 
Lately, Frederick of Volvo has been showing symptoms of illness. He's our commander, and we don't like him. Might have contracted the plague, but of course nothing is certain yet. I mean, everyone can see he's pretty much... Ah, uh, no, he's he's got to go. Botulf, he's is certain that Ormor is a warlock. Ormor, really, our marshal, but we really don't like Ormor, even though he's such a resourceful man. He's greedy, he's disfigured, he's proud, he's gluttonous. Fat and scarred, he seems like a monster from the outside, right? But we can look to the inside, we are learned men. Do we trust Botwolf, though? No, we don't trust him. And he's infamously greedy. Mm. Nah, 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 nah. He's, he's faithful, so, I mean, he's, he's too good of a marshal, really. That's, that's the reason. Judgment Day has arrived. It is time to deal with those who have consorted with Hell and threatened our realm. What will you do? <coughs> Teach them about the Odin's great mercy? Let them rot in the dungeon or light the pyres? Oh, goodness. That's hard. I mean, we're, we're temperate. So we'll probably not light the pyres. Yeah, you know what? Mm. Hmm. I don't know. Our wife would surely burn them. We'll just roll it out. Now we have these two options, rotting them in the dungeon or great mercy. One, two, three, four, five, six. We have a three, let them rot in the dungeon. That, what a, what a judgment day, right? Nothing happens. Let them rot in the dungeon. Well, they're in the dungeon now. It's at least very uncomforting, uncomfortable. So the commander here, Goodmunder, Jarl of Sjelland. Yes, seems like the precautions you took has paid off. There has been very little talk of witchcraft during the last weeks and no accusations. While you never know for certain if those prosecuted to blame for the epidemic, at least everyone else seems relieved. I did what I had to do. We need a law speaker. <gasps> yeah, she died. And who will be our law speaker? The chief of Gastrickland or the chief of Westmanland? We need him in this as well. We'll use him. We're seeing this politically. We need allies in these times where everything goes to hell. Quite. Quite, uh. Literally. Look, the Black Death is not going out of this. Another Savarot thing has been coming. Uh, and we have a leper colony now. In Kuloi. A daughter was born to King Bragi the Wily. And Queen Saraka of Nenezia named Björg. Björg is... that's a nice name. But don't we have a Björg already? Inga, Gida, Freya, Gulya. No, Björg. The beautiful Björg. Who will she be? We've got a four. She'll also be maybe a shield maiden of the future. Court physician Hjalma is worried about my newborn daughter. Ah, he's a, she's a feeble little thing. Let's attempt to save her. She's our child. 
And we love her. We're temperate. We that's of course save her. <coughs> Whatever we cannot see any improvements in little Björg. Why am I even paying that quack? Born under auspicious stars. Not auspicious enough, I guess. What's going on? The Black Death is at least going back a little bit. Will our hospital help? I mean, we have something. Mm. One of the princes likes us better. Very lunatic. I mean, there, there has, there has to be something coming out of this, right? What would a lunatic do? Probably, most probably nothing. I think lunatic is one of these traits that will come to you with something and then you have to react to it. Because well, that's always with the lunatics in your realm, they usually act pretty normally and then suddenly something stirs and that's how we're gonna play them ah we have no income at all life in seclusion isn't so bad after finishing a hearty breakfast <coughs> you belch contentedly and remark upon your foresightedness ensuring kuro's larders were well stocked however as soon as the words leave your lips you notice a suddenly panicked look on your servant's face my king, you just ate the very last pickled boar head, boar's head, and almost all other food stocks are nearing exhaustion. Furthermore, servant continues to drone on, but you are too aghast to listen. No more pickled boar's heads. This isn't good. Yeah, it's getting, it's getting. Yeah. Oh my God, we have no steward anymore. Who will be our steward? We've got Hrane, and that's it. Ah, Princess Inga. She's brooding. Let's see what she can do. Yeah, the traditional role for women. Stewardship, education. Here we go. Oh, look, we have our income back. What has happened? Is the plague... Oh, the plague has gone! Let's open the gates, I guess. We had so many plans. But now... We've all gone to waste. Yeah, we're getting... <laughs> we're getting proselytizing. Oh, woo, 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 woo. What did we want to do? We wanted to attack Finland. Let's see what we have there. This man got nothing. I guess there's something we have to do. And that is declare war on Finland in the coming episode. Have a great time. Until then, and happy gaming. This is Immanuel Khan, signing out.